Hello Aries Collective, welcome to the channel, welcome back if you've been here before, thank you all so much for joining me, I do appreciate you all. If you have Aries placements, this could resonate, it could be past, present, or future energy or someone else around you I'm picking up on, so flip the rules if you need to, only take what's yours, don't try to force anything y'all. Alright, so I pull past, present, and future energy of your connection, so let's see what's going on, we're going to get some tarot and some oracle cards as well, I'm going to do this now, I'm just going to pull these cards now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, Aries, this is your own energy. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Feeling very confident right now. Or trying to um, go for something. Trying to be in that confidence. A very magnetic, attractive energy. You could be a feminine. You don't have to be. Some of you feel like... Um, you might be working on some projects here. It could be something at work. It could be something in your business. You're just feeling very optimistic and confident right now. And I feel like you're connected to someone who sees you as almost like their best friend, um, someone they can confide in. This person trusts you. This person believes that um, they can be totally transparent with you, even if it may be a struggle, because I do see it may be a struggle for this person. So they're saying that you're someone that they can be vulnerable with, but they still struggle. Um, yeah, they still struggle. All right. So your past energy is I believed in you and you call me higher. Some of you are connected to a Libra. So I feel like there's a connection that has disappointed you. I really do. I feel like there's a connection that has disappointed you. And yet this person is seeing you as someone who calls them higher, seeing you as a part of their higher purpose, their divine calling on their life here. A lot of them are thinking about how they have wronged you in the past. Um, I mean, this is the past energy. I feel like this person put a lot of thought into how they dropped the ball in this connection. Yeah, so that's clarified by the Magician, the King of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, so definitely someone here who's a bit of a weak leader. The King of Wands is someone who could be a bit of a narcissist. Could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Gemini, Virgo, a Scorpio, Aquarius, or a Taurus that you are connected to, Aries. Whatever the case, this is the person here who's not as confident as you may think they are. They are attractive, right? They could be attractive, but they're not as confident as you would assume that they would be. This is a person who doesn't feel as powerful as you. Um, You have you coming out as this counterpart, queen of wands, not king of wands, but you're in the upright there in reverse. So this is the person who doesn't measure up to you in their own mind. But you had a lot of faith in them. You felt like you could manifest this connection. I feel like you gave it all that you could. For sure. And now it's like one of these situations where it's like, I believed in you, but I'm leaving it up to fate now. Some of you have washed your hands and you're just like, I'm not trying to force this anymore. It's going to be what it's going to be. Some of you are just focused on manifesting some things in your career, your business, or just your own personal life. Okay. So what we have in the present energy is my life is in complete shambles. This is um, Scorpio and Aries energy. This is a tower moment happening for your person right now. Could be you. I don't know. And then we have Capricorn Venus. So someone could have a Capricorn Venus placement. So the current energy is person is feeling cautious. This person has secret passion for you, stability and commitment, materialistic and status oriented. This person will push you to make you to make your dreams a reality. They need security, but may be slow to commit until they're they're sure of you. So I don't know whose energy that could be. Some of you can have a Capricorn Venus or your person does. If they don't or you don't, it's just the energy. So this is someone slow to commit to you. And maybe this is why you lost faith in them. OK, so we have. Look at this. I feel like there's some communication possibly about to take place. If it hasn't, it's about to take place with a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini. All right. We got the King and Queen of Swords. We got the King and Queen of Wands. This is definitely two. We got two true pairs here. So this is definitely a soulmate for a lot of you. I feel like this person is ready to let their guard down. They're ready to give up on a lot of this hmm, resistant energy. It's like the tower is falling and it's a good thing. It's something that needs to fall. Whatever the tower is in this person's life, whatever's in shambles needs to happen because they have to reassess here. There has to be some honest communication. It's time for some of you to stand up for yourself with this person. And I feel like if they're used to carrying the conversation and controlling the narrative and the dynamic in a relationship, it's time for you to step up and meet them right at their plate and say, hey, hey, wait up. Hold up. <laughs> wait a minute. Let me let you know what you're not going to do. 
moving forward. If we are going to make this work, we need to have clear communication. Communication is very important for you to in the present moment. And it may not be happening, but it's about to happen. Someone is giving up on this resistant energy. Okay, so what we have in the, the future is all talk, no action. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of empty promises, basically a lot of lying. Somebody who was scatterbrained, who didn't have direction here, could be a younger air sign, could be watching you. Someone who's just so cautious. This person is cautious. They're guarded. So they're still stuck in that energy. And it says the person you're connected to is on your path to push you out of your comfort zone. You will both elevate the other to self-mastery. This is your energy trying to get this person out of this page of swords in reverse. This knight of cups in reverse. They have all the potential in the world. It's just wasting. It's wasting away because they refuse to make a decision here. Libra for some of you. You got a lot of Libra and we have Aquarius here. Here's that judgment card again. The higher calling card. That's what this it says that this person is here to help you to elevate and you to help them to elevate to a level of self-mastery. That's what this is. Following your higher calling, but somebody got to get off the fence. Somebody's stuck in two minds. That's why all talk, no action. And then we have here, this person is very fearful. Do you have trust issues? Aquarius energy. So in the future, they're still showing as someone who's very guarded, guarded and cautious and afraid, right? But at some point, this relationship will evolve. They will come out of their comfort zone because that is what your presence in their life does. And I'm going to say this because I always say it. It's not your responsibility to bring anyone out of anything. I'm not saying that. I'm not suggesting that. I'm saying your influence over them. She's an influence. She's a teacher. She's, she's very much someone that um, is not only attractive physically, but attractive because of her warmth. And so that's your energy coming through. This person will eventually follow their higher calling to you. Let's pull some oracle cards for the past energy. We have an apology and forgiveness. So some of you, like I said, you, this person with the, um, the judgment card, that's a card of forgiveness. Um, a lot of them, if they haven't apologized to you in the past, they're thinking about it. We have healing in the inner child in reverse. None of my cards are supposed to be in reverse. Some of you are dealing with the possibly a younger water sign cancer pisces or a scorpio here they want to apologize in the past okay maybe they haven't done it in the past they have wanted to or they have apologized for being very childish very immature and um wow why, is, why are these cards in reverse okay so we have south node clinging in reverse some of you is definitely a water sign cancer pisces or scorpio this is unhealed trauma even from past lives that this person has carried forward. And this is why they are so hesitant to get in a connection with you. You know. Spirit, show me the present energy. My life is in shambles. Okay, so we have a leap of faith here. I told you, this, they're coming out of this stuck energy. Being stubborn and not willing to work with you. They're ready to take a leap of faith. Could be an Aquarius. We have opportunities and freedom. Taking a leap of faith. And then we have Capricorn energy with Saturn. Contracts, career, and commitments. <coughs> Some of you, there could be something going on with this person's money because it has until debt tear us apart. It is possible they have another connection. They have to, I don't know, maybe a, a, dis, um, no, I'll say a disappointment, <laughs> a divorce they're going through. The tower can be a divorce with my life is in complete shambles and some type of contract they're in. That, be, that could be why they're cautious. They may be ending a relationship or just remnants of a divorce that happened is triggering them. Look at this. Triggers in reverse. So disharmony, conflict, and triggers is in reverse. So I'll take that. That's good. That means they're coming out of this. Whatever this issue is has nothing to do with you. The reason why their life is in complete shambles literally has nothing to do with you. What's the outcome? Messages, dreams. Some of you are having a lot of dreams about this person. Messages could be coming in from them after a period of no communication. And we have, wow, toxicity bound and patterns. They're breaking away from some kind of addiction here toxicity, some negative patterns, some negative behaviors. Could be a Capricorn. And then we have limitations and fears. Yeah, here we are. This person has a lot of trust issues here. So they still are carrying that, but they're trying to heal from it. This person could be having a lot of dreams about you. or be getting a lot of downloads about you in the spirit realm. Look at this change in carriage coming in the end. Well, there's your carriage right there. She's very courageous. She goes for what she wants. But they're about to, this person is going to go, I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all. Y'all going to still have ups and downs. But but it will work out in the end. Okay, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Peace, y'all.